The swarms have crushed the meager human resistance and laid waste to nine of the thirteen Terran worlds. Shortly after the fall of the Terran capital world of Tarsonis, the main Protoss fleet abandoned the Terran sector. Now, efforts continue on Tarsonis to weed out the remaining Protoss forces. Awaken, my child, and embrace the glory that is your birthright. Know that I am the Overmind, the eternal will of the Swarm, and that you have been created to serve me. Behold that I shall set you amongst the greatest of my celebrates that you might benefit from their wisdom and experience. Yet your purpose is unique. While they carry forth my will to the innumerable broods, you have but one charge entrusted to your care. For I have found a creature that may yet become the greatest of my agents. Even now, it resides within a protective chrysalis, awaiting its rebirth into the swarm. You must watch over the chrysalis, and ensure that no harm comes to the creature within it. Go now, and keep safe my prize. I am well pleased, young celebrate. And so long as my prize remains intact, I shall remain pleased. Thus its life and yours shall be made as one. As it prospers, so shall you, for you are part of the Swarm. If ever your flesh should fail, that flesh shall be made anew. That is my covenant with all Cerebrates. Now you have grown strong enough to bear the rigors of warp travel with the Swarm. Thus we shall make our exit from this blasted world and secure the Christmas within the Hive Cluster upon the planet Char. Remnants of the Protoss fleet still linger within this planet's orbit. They will attempt to block our exodus at every turn. My brood shall aid you, Cerebrate, should you require assistance. With the Protoss forces beaten and scattered, the Overmind has withdrawn the swarm. Behold the power of that which is yet unborn. For the swirling images that flow forth from the chrysalis are only a shadow of the sleeper's true power. The psionic emanations of the chrysalis have reached out into the depths of space and lured our enemies to us. Even now, we are aware of their plans. Alright, all squadrons close formation. Scan for hostiles. Emperor Arcturus believes that there's Zerg out here, so it's our job to flush them out. I don't want any slip-ups this time. We'll show these critters that they can't run from the Terran fleet. Engage the Terran forces with care. Your priority is to protect the Chrysalis at all costs. Hold, Cerebrates. Do not pursue them. Cerebrates, you must stay and relocate the Chrysalis to a more secure location. Dagoth shall deal with the remaining Terran forces. Dagoth is occupied with the forces of the Dominion. The 
emanations of the chrysalis have called even more of our enemies to char. These two shall be eradicated by your hand, Cerebrit. For you grow more cunning with each passing battle. Indeed, you are a testament to my will and the fury of the swarm. Yet first must you stay in your wrath and watch over the chrysalis a while longer. For the very hour of the sleeper's rebirth is at hand, and soon my greatest creation shall be used. Alright. All crews stay frosty and keep your eyes peeled for our target. Remember, not only are we up against the Zerg here, but our old pal General Duke may be creeping around too. Let's hope this trip wasn't a big mistake. Arise, my daughter. Arise, Kerrigan. By your will, father, I live to serve. Let all who oppose the Overmind feel the wrath of the swarm. Well done, Cerebrate. What I have wrought this day shall be the undoing of my enemies. Let not a Terran survive. Mother of God. Kerrigan, what have they done to you? Sarah, is that really you? To an extent. I'm far more than I once was, Jim. You shouldn't have come here. I'm Wallace. While I was in the Chrysalis, I instinctively reached out to you and Arcturus telepathically. Apparently, Arcturus sent Duke here to reclaim me. But that was then, Jim. I'm one of the Zerg now, and I like what I am. You can't imagine how this feels. So, what? Are you gonna kill me now, darling? That is certainly within my power. But you're not a threat to me, Jim. Be smart. Leave here now, and never seek to confront the Zerg again. Doesn't look like I have much choice. Kerrigan, the newest and most powerful agent of the Overmind, has arisen from her embryonic chrysalis. But her formidable powers are still not fully functional. Kerrigan must now seek to unravel the ghost conditioning that keeps her powers in check. Once done, she will lead the Overmind's minions to complete domination over the unsuspecting Protoss. Cerebrit, you watched over me during my incubation, and I am grateful to you. It is my wish that you continue your vigil so that I might strengthen my powers to better aid the Swarm. I have been unable to access the totality of my latent powers, and as such, I would like to infiltrate a Terran science vessel and uncover the secrets of their abandoned ghost projects. If I can learn more about their mental conditioning, I can undo the damage their tinkering scientists have done to my mind. Though you be the favored servant of the Overmind, you would do well to remember that you are just a servant. You know of our grand mission, Kerrigan. Would you put your personal whims before the will of the Overmind? Do not cross me, Zaz. I will do as I see fit, and not you or any other Cerebrate shall stand in my way. Let her go, Zaz. The greatness of her spirit has been left to her, that the swarms might benefit from her fierce example. Fear not her designs, for she is bound to me as intimately as any Cerebrate. Truly, no Zerg can stray from my will, for all that you are lies wholly within me. Kerrigan is free to do as she desires. By your will, Overmind. Cerebrate, you must see that she comes to no harm. Cerebrate, I have located the records I sought. We have everything we need here.
God for cold fusion. Hey, are we really gonna blow this place? Only if we see a Zerg. Yeah, I got your Zerg right here. <laughs> Feel that, Servant? The Kutas are here, on Char. They have been for some time, hiding. Protoss Commander, it was folly of you to come here, for I am Kerrigan, and I am Queen of the Zerg. I know of you well, O oh Queen of the Zerg, for we have met before. I am Tassadar of the Templar. I remember your selfless exploits, defending humanity from the Zerg. Unfortunate it is to see that one who was once so honorable and full of life would succumb to the twisted wiles of the Overmind. Do not presume to judge me, Templar. You'll find my powers to be more than a match for yours. In fact, I sense that your vaunted power has diminished since last we met. Mayhap, O oh Queen. Or is it only that I need not flaunt my power in such an infantile test of will? Foolish Templar, prepare your defenses. I will come for you soon. Where are you, Tassadar? Do your underlings always do your fighting for you? This shall be our battleground, O oh Queen. Face me here, and I will defeat you myself. I'm listening. An illusion? Are you afraid to face me, Templar? So long as you continue to be so predictable, O oh Queen, I need not face you at all. You are your own worst enemy. Insufferable Protoss coward. Tassadar cannot evade my wrath forever. I shall find him and cut it. Kerrigan. Zaras is dead. Oh? It is a pity that Cerebrates cannot truly be killed. I expect that the Overmind will reincarnate him soon. No, he will not. The Protoss have devised some new attack. An attack powerful enough to nullify our reincarnation and give pause to the Overmind itself. So, Tassadar's plan was merely a diversion. I should not have underestimated him so. Without its master, Zas's brood has run amok, and even now threatens the Hive Cluster. Cerebrit, you must eradicate the rampaging brood and stem any further damage it might cause. I shall deal with the Protoss myself. Behold, my long 
Ancient silence is now broken, and I am made whole once more. The cunning Protoss have dared strike down that which was immortal. For the Protoss who murdered Zaz are unlike anything we have faced before. These Dark Templar radiate energies that are much like my own. And it is by these energies that they have caused me harm. Yet shall their overweening pride be their downfall. For when the assassin Zeratul murdered Zaz, his mind touched with mine, and all his secrets were made known to me. I have taken from his mind the secret location of Ayer, the Protoss homeworld. At long last, my children, our searching is done. Soon we shall assault Ayer directly. For now, we must ensure that the Dark Templar can cause no more harm. Cerebrit, you shall set a trap for our foes. Carry him, we we'll lead them to you. Once again, I grow tired of slaughtering your servants. Have the mighty Templar lost their infallible courage? Well spoken, concubine of the Zerg. But though we strike at you from the shadows, do not think we lack the courage to stand in the light. You would do well to abandon this attack. You seem overconfident of your abilities, Dark One. I am no helpless Cerebrit to be assailed under cover of darkness. I am the Queen of Blades, and my stare alone would reduce you to ashes. You and your ilk cease to amuse me. Prepare yourself for Oblivion's embrace. Our forces are on the attack. Now, Protoss, you shall know my wrath. Now you will know the fury of the Queen of Blades. Asadar and the Dark Templar Zeratul survived Kerrigan's vicious attacks, but their Templar armies had been decimated. Kerrigan, left behind to hunt down and eradicate the remaining Protoss warriors, begins to scour the burning wastelands of Chaw for her elusive prey. Meanwhile, the entirety of the extended Zerg swarm teleported through space-time and began its long-awaited invasion of the hated Protosco world of Iron. My children, the hour of our victory is at hand, for upon this world of Iron shall we incorporate the strongest known species into our fold. Then shall we be the greatest of creation's children. We shall be... perfect. Yet before I can be made manifest upon this world, the way must be prepared. You must seize the Kedaran crystals, for within them lies power undreamed of by the Kotas. Go now, my Cerebrit. Secure the crystals and bring swift wrath to all who oppose the swarm. You have done well, my Cerebrit. The Protoss can do nothing but flee before the onslaught of the swarm. But now you must assault one final site before our conquest is assured. Behold, there is a temple not far from here that lies upon ground most hallowed. Though I have borne witness to the passing of countless millennia, the temple which you must assault is older by far. 
for it was constructed by my creators, the Zelnaga, and it marks the site where the Zelnaga first set foot upon Ayr. The temple must be cleared, and the Kaderan crystal set in its place. Only then shall the way be made ready, for it is upon that ground alone that I may be manifest. Now shall the events set into motion so long ago be made complete. For the Protoss too were created by the Zelnaga. They were the first creation, gifted with a purity of form. And we were the second creation, blessed with a purity of essence. Indeed, our two species are but opposite facets of a greater whole. Soon shall our two races be made as one. Thenceforth shall all feel the wrath of the eternal swarm, for the hour of judgment is come. <laughs>